Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Growing Pains, the UK's number one controversial podcast. That is us. That is us. Hate us or love us. We're still going to be here. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. Please remember, rate five stars whilst you're at it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. So, welcome back to another episode. Today, we will be recapping our week away. We last have been time, away. Last time we double recorded. Yes. So, sorry about that. You got two 40 minutes worth. but Yeah, we didn't actually realise that either. We just kind of turned up on the day to film one and then we all forgot that everyone was going away. Yeah, we had to film our one. producer was away. We was away and we was like, oh shit, we have to double record today. Yeah. So, yeah. that's why you got the uh, the stinky The stinky double, double jowl outfit. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, I hated that. I wasn't even impressed. I wore it for one, and then I was like, got from two, and I was like, brilliant, great. The gel fit, pop yeah, off. yeah, gel fit, and now I've got funky fringe. Every Both week. of us. Do you know what's funny? Both of us have made it into new news articles this week. You for being a misogynist, and oh, me, I'm viral. Yeah, you're a misogynist, and I've got a shit fringe, and we've both been in the newspapers. Yeah, but yours it. is more like people love you at the minute. <sighs> No, they don't. No, but your, 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 your not, article was not mocking you. Your article no, but it's was made like, it serious. Like in my TikTok, right? Because that's, not, where, they, I think that that's where they funny. quoted it. Yeah, but if you knew what I was talking about, because I was like, please don't contact me. Like after having it done, like as a joke. Yeah. And then it was like, she said, influencer said, please don't contact me. I'm still healing from this. And I was like, bro, well, at least you're it being just called, looks um, like I'm such high maintenance. At least you're being called influencer. I, I've every article is man sparks furious debate. I've made it to mainstream where they call me man now, not YouTuber or like podcaster. Um, I am man. Spark well, guess what? It's debate. a man's world, so you'll be all right. I'll survive. <laughs> yeah. um, so how'd your week been? Yeah, other than a fringe, it's been all right. It's yeah? Been, yeah. Fringe well, and acne. Yeah, like we said, we, well. we was away. We was in Dubai. We went for six days. Yeah. And in the hotel we'd stay in at, I've stayed there before, previously, twice. Yeah. Uh, actually with Chip and Cow, we went on a trip to there. Little, and, um, little bro day. Little boys trip, yeah. Um, but we went there and there was a salon. There's a man's salon and a women's salon mm -hmm. in the hotel. Yeah. And on the last night, for some reason, Faith goes, oh, 7 p.m. I'm going to salon. I went, oh, you sure? And by the way, with Faith, you have to not oppose her because if you oppose her, it fuels her with more determination to do that. Context. So, context. Not everything. Pretty much everything. Okay, great. Cool. That one's getting about. <laughs> that <laughs> pretty, one's spreading a rumour. Pretty much everything. Um, so I said, are you sure? Yeah, right, that's fine. Yes, but however, we've had this conversation since being back. I'm, I'm not well-travelled, okay? I'm not a well-travelled human. Ethan's like, oh, well, of course you know not to get your hair cut in a hotel salon. And I'm like, well, one, I've never really stayed in hotels. When I go away with my family, it's always at, like, on, like, you're, like, yeah, like, you're, things in like little fucking chalets do you know what I mean like they're still nice but it's not a hotel yeah, like you're yeah, not ringing yeah. a little button and someone's coming to your room yeah no way like so you're like oh you just don't go there and I'm like why is this common knowledge to everyone but me it looks great everyone was suited and booted it looked professional and do you know what fucks me off so much what? the name of the salon and I oh, still yeah. don't find it funny it's quite ironic no it's so ironic <laughs> and I just it's not it's funny to me yet it's lunatic called, fringe it's called the lunatic fringe you certainly got one of those I did get one of they those they fulfilled the name I did and can I just <laughs> say it's not even like it's worse than this I've clipped half of it back well give it time time heals all yeah. Do you know what, though? I'm proud of myself because I know this sounds high maintenance and there are people dying, Kim. I understand, right? But <laughs> I haven't cried. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's growth. You, I think it's funny. Like, but 18 year old to like fucking 20 year old Faith would have actually not left a house. Yeah. Like, I would have not. But I've gone, ah, oh, well, shit, French, what are you going to do? I've had one shit haircut before at a Turkish barber's. Oh, not that one. Uh, woo, hey. To be fair, I, I'm dusty right now. I've, I'm desperate. I actually messaged my barber whilst using the toilet. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm in desperate need of a haircut. Oh. Um, but I went to a Turkish barber's once mm. and I went in there, said, same as usual, boss. And he said, yeah, yeah, no problem. And all of a sudden, he's putting a line down the side of my head and I'm thinking, <laughs> I swear he's already done the fade bit where, like, you do that. Yeah, he left me with like this just weird like army cadet line down oh, my really? head. And then again, like when you leave. Maybe uh, he was trying right? to give you a part in. I don't know about that. And then you leave and then they're like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, it's great, mate. Yeah, cheers. Here's, here's your cash. Enjoy. Yeah, no, yeah, th th that's the thing, isn't it? You go, oh, yeah, no, I love it. Thanks. Pay yeah. for it. Buy it. And I'm like, why the fuck am I paying? Like she curled it the wrong way as well. So when I actually left the salon, it was actually pointing upwards <laughs> like I had devil horns. And I was like, yeah, it's great. And then I could just, <laughs> I could just see the woman behind the till who was doing like the register yeah. or whatever going, she looked at me and went up at my fringe like that and then went, 
Okay, thank you. Look, pay. Yeah. Well, you, I was upstairs with Olive because uh, she was napping with yeah. me. I was like, don't look at me. And Faith come in the door and went, all right, I'm I'm curling it the other way before you see me for the first time <laughs> and spent like 10 minutes restyling it and yeah. then come through the door. Yeah, carnage, carnage. But Quite funny. Yeah, she hacked it though. Part, yeah, she really has given it a hacksaw. We should add the picture for people that yeah, haven't yeah, seen yeah. it because yeah. it's hacksawed and luckily my UK hairdresser has fixed it. She sorted you out. Yeah, I just thought you couldn't cheat on your on your hairdresser for hair colour. I didn't know it applied for haircuts as well. Yeah, it's bad karma. Yeah, and especially the fact that you went to a hotel salon. That's bad. Well, can I just say this? For anyone that doesn't know, don't go to a salon hairdresser. You'll end up in the no, newspaper. No, hotel salon one. Hotel salon hairdresser. Yeah, it's just not the dedicated place to be going for yep. that, I don't well, think. Well, no one told me, so... Apart I'm, from that, though... I'm we telling had, you. <laughs> we had a lovely trip. Uh, it was amazing. Olive turned one the day we arrived. Um, you're right. Mm -hmm. You're just spilling water everywhere. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, sorry. sorry audio listeners she's drinking uh, coconut water and can't drink it yes I missed my mouth <laughs> um, Olive turned one the day we got tea. there after a horrendous flight no you can't even you can't even right so oh, I know no, you I'm talking on your behalf the thank yeah, you very on much on your behalf I have never never has Olive ever projectile vomited way once when she was like Two months old and she was swapping from like a formula of an yeah, evening. Yeah, yeah. She projects out on me once then. Mm. She's never, ever. She We we thought we had a foolproof plan, didn't we? We're flying yeah. overnight. She'll sleep on the plane. Does it great. We'll wake up. On we'll get paper. There. It was flawless. It's the best plan ever. But what happened? She was so tired from the day. She got really overstimulated on the plane. Mm. Everyone else on the plane, business class, came there to sleep. Yeah. No, no, no. Olive screamed the whole flight. Six which, hours. In uh, it's gonna sound bad. I don't feel bad for that. Kids are allowed to fly. Exactly. It is what yeah. it is. Like yeah. I'm sorry, but you do just have to put up with it. I've there's no it kid only flights. Now like, it's my child. Doing yeah, it. like yeah. it is what it is. However. Ethan, I had her like the whole time and don't worry, Ethan offered, but however, she wanted to be with mum, let's not all misogynist Ethan up. Thanks, right? guys. So, um, but however, you had her for about three minutes, didn't you? And yeah. she evidently wanted mum back again because she's screaming Yeah, usually, more. by the way, she will... She will settle if, if with Ethan. If she's really tired, she'll s settle with me, but you could just tell she, there's she, like... She was trying to push very up, Very few get occasions back to now me. where she just needs mum. Yeah. And that's all she wanted the whole flight, wriggling off me, like fighting to yeah. get back to your seat. Yeah, so I said, yeah, Arif, and give her back to me. I stood up, I picked her up. What did she do? <sighs> and she projectiled all over me, it's everywhere, she, um... all over herself. And better yet, Next to the woman yeah. in her lovely business class seat, all on the floor. Yeah. And I was going, Ethan had his headphones in. He didn't see what happened. I was going, Ethan, get yeah. up. I was and trying to adjust my seat. He was just pressing the buttons on his seat. It was like a comedy sketch. Like trying, trying to, get to up. sit up yeah. on his seat. I went, take your headphones out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that, like a hysterical woman. He took them out and went, what's happened? I went, look at me. And he yeah. was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Like it was dripping off really of me. Bad. Yeah. Really and bad. I didn't have no spare change of clothes. Olive, and, that, and then I cried, didn't I? Because yeah. I felt like a really bad mum because I was like, she's not got a spare change of clothes. So I, I went to the toilet and got a, a flannel. Yeah. And was scrubbing it, scrubbing it, scrubbing it. I sprayed it with loads of light. You did a good job considering it was white. Yeah. Baby girl, I did, you did, I did a good a, job. I did a really good job. I was in there for about 10 minutes just scrubbing it. And then there was a lovely older lady next to us. It was yeah. like, we've all been there. And she started wrapping it in like this towel and like squeezing it. Yeah. And I was like, thank you. I yeah. She, was, she like, was like, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. She, she was that like proper old. She was like looking at me like, don't, don't cry. Yeah. Like she seemed like a tough, like she weren't yeah. one of the soft ones. No yeah. way. No, she, she was a tough cookie. Yeah. Tough one. Yeah. Um, she was like, have you asked a doctor for uh, something to knock her out for the flight? And I said, no. That's what we used to do. Yeah, she said, <laughs> she go like, to the doctors. Day. Go to the doctors before your trip and ask for this. I can't remember what it was called. And then you just give it to them and then, bum, they go to sleep the whole flight. <laughs> <It's half laughs> just tranquilise your child. Yeah, I said, no, much. Sandra, I don't think that's allowed no yeah, more. Pretty much. Well, apart from the horrid flight, We had a great time hours. out there. On the way home, though, we flew midday and she was great. She was amazing, yeah. She was had fine. a really good time on the way yeah, back. Yeah, so I'd all, all baby mums. Yeah. Um, and all of that. Fly, fly day, the day Yeah, fly, fly day, day time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we landed. And obviously, I'd slept for maybe about an hour. Mm -hmm. You uh, had none, which was a horror show. Yep. So we checked into the hotel and literally all three of us went straight to sleep. Yeah. 
Woke up at, I think, like half 12. Yeah. Felt so much better. Yeah. Was like able to cope with the day at yeah. that point. Um, and then from there on out, it was really cool, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it? really good. All the restaurants were lovely. Aquarium. I really enjoyed that. Oh, that aquarium was so cute. Olive loved the aquarium so much. She was just wow. walking around going, oh, wow. Yeah. That's like her favourite phrase at the minute, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Even opening the blinds in the morning. She, you'd open the blinds in the morning when she woke up, she'd go, wow. Yeah, she's so cute. Proper cute. Her. She um, was so sweet. And but then... There was a little um, fish tank, sorry, in the aquarium, wasn't there? That Because she can walk now. Yeah. They're like, I'd say designed for kids because on the side, yeah. they're glass. So for little eyes, I guess, yeah. and we can see in. Yeah. Um, and she was like, trying to check in all the fish. Yeah. Say, wow. And then wow. one of them was like low enough that... She climbed up onto the step. Oh, yeah. And try, I, was, I was like, please don't grab the fish. You <laughs> yeah. just go like that, trying to get into this. I said, right, enough. Yeah. Um, but then we went to the Green Planet, which yeah. I thought was really cool, by the yeah, way. I spoke it was about really it on the cool. Sidemen podcast. Yeah. I think I had, a, I had a great time in there. It was really cool. Ethan said I'm scared of animals. Who are? Me? No, you said that I'm scared oh, of animals. Oh, you are. Yeah, you get nervous energy around animals, yeah. Which is crazy. I've had animals all my life oh, no. before. Horses. Well, you, exactly. It's mental to me. You can tame this, like, ton of muscle beast. Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. not scared of it at all. No. But then a, a lemur, a lemur me. follows the pram and you're like, oh, quick, quick, go. It wasn't like that. It wanted to get in the pram. It didn't want to get in the pram. It, it was did. just intrigued. And no, because the woman said to me down at the, at the, at the bottom, she said, um, make sure you take yeah. your iPad off because um, they're all attracted to buggies. And I thought, oh God, is my child all right yeah. in there? And she was like, yeah, she's fine. I said, well, now I'm nervous. Now yeah. I'm a nervous mum. And then Olive was actually out with you in a baby carrier, wasn't she? But this mm. lemur kept following me and it was kind of just had these weird lemur. eyes. Lima was cool. She loved the lemur a lot. She got a lemur teddy because she loved the lemur so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, if following us around, she was oh, wow, again. He was but cool. The Green Planet, for anyone that is listening on the audio platform, is this big building near... The centre of Dubai, mm -hmm. um, like the city city walk area. Mm. Uh, there's a big fake tree in the middle, but hanging off of that fake tree are all like real. So when, when, and stuff. once you go inside, it's kind of like a massive greenhouse. That's yeah, how I'm going to describe yeah, yeah. it. It's not got floors really. No, it's like it's a walkway just, down. Yeah, so it's just walkway. The big massive trees at the bottom to the top, and yeah, the whole yeah. thing is full of like wildlife. But there's like sloths. I didn't even see the sloth. Oh, the sloth was cool. And I was like, oh my god! And then he's just going. I thought it was fake. Yeah. Up this branch, sloth yeah. was there. Uh, they had snakes. snakes. They had birds, and that's Olive was asleep when we got there. Yeah, so we, we had to wake her up. We woke her up once we got to the top floor and was like, "Come on, in, baby, get out, whatever." Like we've come, we've come here for you. <laughs> and for people that are watching, the mic's quite close to me, right? I'm not joking. If I move the mic to here, we're holding Olive here. There's a toucan mm. about here where Olive is, uh, like that distance, and it just made this. It made a toucan noise. Yeah, and Olive just started crying it scared her she, it was like so close Mah! yeah like that it was proper loud she didn't it like that really but, then, loud. but then he stopped and then she and then she started having fun with all the animals but i think that shocked her a little bit she was looking at it yeah. like and then it just made this noise it shook yeah no it's called cool. they had like a little wolf bear we got loads of don't videos quote me, yeah. i don't know what it was it actually didn't say what that one was the little wolf looking bear yeah, really odd. It didn't label creature. it. I wish it had a label for yeah, that one. Yeah, really odd And creature. we saw um, flying foxes, like bats. Oh my God, and they're grim. They're so grim. A flying fox is one of the worst animals I've ever seen. Shiny, weird, leathery looking big bat. It's like the gimp of fucking but it was, animal land. It was a big bat. It's like as long as that saddle thing that you oh, got yeah, there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Head collar. Head collar, yeah. Yeah. yeah really ugly weird thing but again nature's beautiful but that can stay where it is oh yeah no i'm not fucking with that no, at any grim. point of the armadillos day. oh yeah yep saw they were cool saw some armadillos one jumped in the water had a little splash yep um, splish, splish. what did we do we went downstairs and there was a big owl yeah and the man kept going oh like do you want to hold the fucking they had um, cockroaches. cockroaches he's like oh i get them out you can hold them <laughs> no, boss, yeah we said, right. we said go on get it out we'll have a look at it and then he went oh now do you want to put it in your hand no why the hell would i just want to hold big that grim cockroach. no yeah. way yeah I, th I think that's maybe for like oh my god and there was an underground room yeah i've still not got used to like where the mic is here oh, no. <laughs> yeah <laughs> keep hitting it um there was an underground room as well which was great for babies that, which they said wasn't it yeah. it had a big massive owl I'm huge. talking like this bit but just Easy, flying around. It's big, yeah. Like just swooping below people's heads. I'm like, how is this great for babies? Yeah. <laughs> there are people screaming in mm. there because it's taking people's heads off. It was actually really cute though because we'd done like pretty much like three three out of the five, six days we were there, we'd done stuff for Olive, which yeah. was amazing. She had a great time. Yeah, she did. And she really enjoyed playing it. Playing in the pool and stuff. Mm. She really likes being in the pool. That was cute. We need to take her swimming lessons now. Yeah, That's we the do. Ne next, next thing to do. But yeah, man, she's won. 
Yeah, she is we blonde. We have a one-year-old child. Yeah. I couldn't get sad about it on holiday because I thought, oh, she's turning one, I'm going to cry. Mm. But because of the stress from the flight, I said to you, because she projects how bummed on me, yeah. I've lost the emotion. Yeah, yeah. True, <laughs> so that's true. it. But... Um, no, it's really cool. We, I think she's really advanced. She can. She she's now at so home. So clever. Uh, on holiday, she was like walking but holding hands. At home now, she's, she's off just walking. She don't crawl everywhere. anywhere. No, everywhere. She will get up now and just walk around. Yeah. And I showed Toby that yesterday, and Toby was like, "That's really like." She was walking by an eleven and a half months. Yeah. Toby was yeah. like, "That's really." She's ahead. Look, yeah. big time. Oh, she, she says ball. Things. She says it. She says up. She yeah. says blue. Yeah. Purple. Yeah, she's. She, I think we got a smart baby on our hands. She's, she's really, which clever. is really quite shocking. It so is. Uh, can we do an IQ test on here? I think we can. Yeah, it could be arranged. I think we should try and do that for yeah. our next pod or something. All right. Well, that uh, recaps Olive's the uh, need to chew up because the the Dubai trip. Yeah. So FPL update. Da -da. Yes. Football. So you are one point ahead of me, and one I've not changed ahead. my team in four weeks. We are approaching <laughs> game week eight, and I've not made uh, no changes. And I'm on four hundred and two points. Faith Kelly is on 401 points. However, last week you had a stroke of genius because you have Ollie Watkins in your team. Yeah, come on, I know. And I, I don't know how because your team's actually, it, you had two people, that, three people that got zero. You were saved by Watkins. Watkins got a hat trick and two assists, Listen, which is mental. I can just read people. Without Watkins, skill. by the way, you would have been on, let me work it, it out. It probably wouldn't have been great. You would have been on. 25 points without Watkins. So that's how bad your team was. So you are, you've got away with it big time. But yeah, you're actually going to... I think it's whilst we're on holiday, you just completely forgot time difference. And it? before then, I completely yeah. forgot. I'm just not very good with the deadline. I wish they took yeah. the deadline off. I'm not bottom three in our YouTuber group. JJ's first one. though. I see that on his yeah, story. He's, he's mugging you all off. He's chipless. He's got no, no free hit or wild card. And he's taking minus fours like they're going out of fashion. But so. can JJ just be good at it? He can be, yeah. Because he may still remain at the top here and we're, he, he and we're getting our won't. claws out. He won't, he won't, he won't. He, there's not, Meow. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's not a chance he stays top for the, the whole thing. So No. No, pass that. Mm -hmm. uh, and last up, your skincare journey. Yes. You documented it on your story. I am. Only, yeah, because someone left a comment, didn't they? And it was actually, uh, comments don't really bother me. I'm a bit of a, like, a tough... Yeah, you you really don't care. I just, just what people yeah, say. Yeah, because if I turn my phone off, thought you will go away. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not that deep. <laughs> However, um, plus they're all mostly wrong anyway, so it's just yeah. it's funny. But there was one that said, and it wasn't under my post; it was actually under a repost thing. Um, it's actually under one of your misogyny things. But he said, "Oh no, it's right. She shouldn't be with him. He can do so much better than her. Um, she has acne." I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he was like, he shouldn't be with her because she's got acne. He's like, bro, yeah. I couldn't have. I birthed his child. Yeah. And the repercussions of that, uh, one year later on, has hormonally crushed my body. Yeah. So I've I've found a facial, haven't I? It's called an SQT facial. Yeah. It's like a, it's Super a advanced. It's like a natural micro in. Um, so you don't actually use needles, but it, how I described it to you, it's like a fine powder, but under the microscope, it's like... It's pierces Need, your, yeah, it, like, it, like needles. You know, like a, a derma roller. Yeah. It it goes. It, there's loads of little that gets in, and it leaves sea crystals. Yeah. So it's not actually a roller. This one yeah. I'm saying it is just a powder, but, but the it sensation in, yeah. it feels like rods are going into your skin, yeah. like you're being injected. It doesn't hurt yeah. much, <laughs> but it feels like that, and it works into your skin four mm. days later. Um, and I will say he, it has got a lot of. Quite a lot of my acne already. Yeah, yeah. Hasn't no, it looks it? like it's been looked better when you come back. Yeah. But the morning but after, definitely. It's equivalent to four chemical pills. So it's, listen, it does hurt for anyone that wants it done. Yeah. It's not unbearable. Your but face is red coming down. It dry. hurts. Like, yeah. And if you touch your face again, the same needle sensation comes back. Like, don't just go once you leave. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, my face is red. Yeah. So red are you going to keep people up to date with what you're doing? Yeah, I, f I think after I think other people struggle with acne and they all want yep. stuff to do because a lot of people try and say, oh, come to me, come to me, like spend your money here. This will yeah. be great. This will work. And it just doesn't because people, she's like, oh, what have you tried? And I'm like, well, not much because I'm aware that you can't do anything over active acne. So if I'm still getting spots come up, yeah. then it's called active acne. So anything that I put on my face can actually cause a flare up and then I'll look 10 times worse. Yeah, true. Um, so, but this is the only treatment that you can do over active acne and it's really works, but I've got to do one a week. Wow. 
well. until it, until it really does down. settle. But she's also given me like an internal um, like regime, regime. What's it? A skin regime. That's it. Re regime. An internal regime. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I have to take right. all of these things as well to try and help it. <laughs> Internal regimen. Yeah, yeah. I've got skin tint on now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not flawless yet. Yeah. Well, good stuff. Yeah. I'm happy you're finding a solution. Hopefully, because I feel ugly. Should we get on to trending topics? Go on, then. What is it? You? Where I find <laughs> myself at the uh, the forefront of a. I think it's like a countrywide debate now. Oh, right. It's ended up on the mirror. Am I the drama? It's I ended up on the, the mirror, drama. the Daily Mail, all over Facebook, loads of popular pages, everywhere. Mm -hmm. The surname debate. Joe, what's funny? Because I said Olivia Atwood in every repost page I see, she's in every one of the comments I was about to going, say this, that's yeah. me. <laughs> but it says Olivia Atwood that. replied in support of Faith. Love I didn't that see queen. that one, but yeah, so you've got a new friend. She don't follow me. I checked. I got oh. really, I got really gasped when she saw the film. But she don't follow me. So it's okay. No, I'll oh. work on it. Oh, fair dues. Oh, well, yeah. We watched your series. That was really good. Yeah, Mar we did the, watch the it. one about your wedding and that. That was yeah, really cool. Yeah, when she kept his name. That's crazy. Yeah, we we, we enjoyed that. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, Daily Mail's article ended up with like five hundred comments on it. I think the Daily Mail one actually got like clouted. Uh, with 500 comments do you know what was funny someone from my school I logged onto my Facebook and I had a tag notification from someone that was in my form at school tagged me in one of the articles just with like a laughing face and I was like oh great because now everyone from school is going to have seen me be a misogynist which just isn't the case by the way which just isn't the case uh, it isn't it's not stand by your man here I'm, I'm not I can't say otherwise he's going to lock me in a cupboard oh wow. <laughs> Here we go. Because uh, she's going to start it all again. I'm actually really nice. Yeah, I feel really like good. any of the female friends I've ever had... Watch yourself. Well, no, Watch well, yourself. Not allowed, I'm not allowed female friends in the past. Well, I think would vouch for me and say that I'm just a nice man. Yeah, a nice man. I mean, I'm very... I'm a selfless man. Yeah. I think I care about your feelings. You do care Lots. about my feelings. I do. Yeah. And he's still been with me while I've got acne. So that's a true man. Um, right there. Called into everyone. And also, I think context is a massive part of yeah. this whole thing that happened. TikTok nowadays, you can take a 15 second excerpt from something mm. and people just bandwagon it and like, oh my God. The, the, do you know what? It does make me laugh. The amount of people are like, Girl, he's walking with a flag. Leave him now. Oh my god, I got so many messages saying to dump this your is, ass. This, this is scary. <laughs> oh yeah, I got loads, I, and and I've had right. <laughs> I've had men in my um, TikTok comments actually using it as a chat up line. Oh, this is what I was about to say. Yeah, I'm, I was really laughing about this with my football mates. Uh, the pick me men have come out yeah. like, yeah, I'd never do that to my missus. Don't worry. Yeah, but fuck I, off. I, I I got one on TikTok saying, Faith, um, be with me instead. I'll let you keep your last name. <laughs> The amount of people that were like... Um, Sold. Yeah. <laughs> it, the amount of people that are like using it as like, a, yeah, don't, I'd never do this. So I like, do think it is a little you're bit... You're actually a bit weird, mate. <laughs> yeah, I do think it's a little bit of a misunderstanding as well because I did just want it in my name. It doesn't have to be like double barrel to my last yeah. name. Like It can be a middle yeah. name, I don't mind. I, I just want all my name, Faith Louisa Kelly, Paint. And also people... That's fine. Well, yes, that's that done and dusted. I am the forefront of a... Uh, also, what I, I do think the is... The head shake. Yeah, wait, what I'm interested in to see is at the bottom of every article, I think the reason this gains so much traction is because it is actually a movement that's happening. So like they put, according to the registry office or whatever it is, deed poll, uh, apparently like it's up by like 23%. Yeah. That women are just aren't taking the name now. So I think I am now at like the face of wanting the traditional way of doing things. Whereas yeah. now... the meteoric rise however i do understand that because you use the word traditional it's not traditional anymore like no, times exactly. have changed not, times have anymore, moved forward yeah. and nothing is the same yeah but i saw uh jamie lang and sophie yeah. uh sophie something I don't sorry, know, yeah. the, the, with the podcast i yeah. can't remember what Newlyweds podcast. Newlyweds yeah. podcast, that's it. And they had this conversation saying Jamie actually, they're actually married by the yeah, way, but no, I don't yeah. think she took his name. Right. Um, I don't think, I'm not starting rumours, this is just what I've seen seen from a little mm. clip because Jamie um, uh, was sorting something out and he put down um, like her name and then put Lang and mm. she was like, you've changed my name. Like that, she was like, that's not my name. Like that, but people found it funny and yeah, I went yeah. straight to the comments like, ah, oh, he's actually changed her name without her asking. No. Nope. <laughs> and I was like, oh, just us uh, I do think I had this conversation on, uh, I do a Sidemen podcast yeah. as well, by the way, everyone. Uh, 
we were talking about it, that I have very hate, very easy to hate tax, mm. which is, and John Cabin Man has explained it, is I'm not afraid of just having an opinion. Mm. I'm not going to not say what I think. Mm. I'm a polarizing figure. That's but, what but, he said. But then that's where it kind of looks worse because we're both like that. No, exactly. So that's why it, look, it seems so intense. We are very, watching. this podcast is very easy to criticize and also to try and get on our backs because realistically, I'm still going to say what I think yeah. as are you. Yeah. You're real per. <laughs> yeah, you're, and that's the thing. We're not going to sit on this podcast and be like, we love each other so much every week. It's like, fuck off. Yeah. We're just normal people. Yeah, I think some people get that. In a normal relationship. So, it's the young ones. Uh, shout out the core audience that love the podcast. We respect you. Uh, and I hope you're having a great week. Yes. Uh, anyway, onwards and upwards, speed 20 versus one. Yeah, I've seen some clips. I wrote the girl that did the backflip. Yeah, so she she was actually one up in him yeah. on everything. She tried to kill him at one point, though. Oh, I, I've not watched it. I've only yeah, seen clips. Yeah, seen some clips. Uh, at one point, we he's going... We have to going... start watching the videos. The amount they come up on this podcast, oh, the golf video. Oh, it is awful. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> he um he was going to, like, jump over two sets of chairs. Who, speed? Yeah. Oh, God. Like, athletically. Right. And she, as he's about to run up and jump, she, like, kicks one of the chairs. Oh. It's like, whoa, you're going to try to try and injure a man right here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that genuinely one of the funniest videos I've ever been a part of. Yeah, Speed's good. He's funny. He is phenomenal. He did, I think, 10 mil views in a day. So oh, really? He's, wow. He's a beast. Wow. Yeah, he, he Got really... Got some pennies. And considering he'd never watched a 20 verse 1 before. Oh, had he not? No. No way. No, and he I performed thought we did, like that. Because, yeah, I thought he uh, must have because the clips that you showed me on the train of him like getting the girls to spin mm. and then looking at the cameras and stuff like that, like yeah. to you guys, so to say, I thought he like just knew. No, but he's just, I think he's just a natural born entertainer, man. Mm. Like it yeah. was so good. Some of the stuff left me in tears. Like I was standing up laughing in the corner. Like, And he's young, isn't he? He's 18, yeah. 18, yeah, yeah baby. So he's got a, got a long, long career ahead of him yeah. because he's smashing it. Yeah, it's crazy. He's so funny. And even like his main thing is streaming. To be able to come from streaming, but then still do that. Is men. Yeah, because you've got like angry Ginge who just does streaming. Yeah, I yeah. don't think he could do that. Ginger, we, we're trying to get Ginger in a video soon, I think. Mm. But we need, we, like the concepts at the minute that we've got on the on the horizon, he needs a big video to be in, Ginge. Ginge, Ginge deserves a big video to be in, not just like a... Yeah, it's crazy. I, I I didn't know who he was until your um, assignment charity match. Mm. Like, it's not really the type of person that would just pop up for me on my yeah. feed. Like, I'm not doing nothing football related. Um, but when I was down at the um, uh, sidelines with Olive, people were going, oh, Ginge, Ginge, yeah. that's who people no, were calling he's, he's the most. And you yeah. had like Mr. Beast, everyone there going, Angry Ginge. Like, no, he's, who the fuck he's, is Angry Ginge? He's actually a superstar. Yeah, and then yeah, I was like, oh, when you're going on, and you turn around, he's like, in a fucking minute. <laughs> <laughs> he's so good. Like uh, that. <laughs> funny cliff I saw literally this morning, he'd done a Disney sponsored stream. Um, and obviously he had to be a little bit more politically correct yeah. on the sponsor stream. But like a sponsor stream doesn't just end and then you restart it. He literally just from six till seven was doing the Disney thing and then stopped at seven here. He just went, all right, the stream's fucking over. You, you well, it's just like, it's so good. Aye. It's so good. I love him. Um, we reacted to his funniest moments today on Simon Reacts. Oh yeah, I see a video of one of them before. Yeah. He's just great, man. Uh, YouTube world again. Faith stable day with freezing. Oh, the controversy. That, that, that caused some controversy oh as well. Oh my God. I thought, yeah, sick video. This is going to do so well. Yeah. Really impressive it. Oh my God, she's gone on a date. Doesn't she have a boyfriend? Oh my God, Bez, you okay with this? Bro, it's Even's the gonna be raging. series name. Are yeah. you backwards? It's just like Amelia does chicken shop date. She isn't dating. the. It's a yeah. piece of content. It's entertainment. Like, it's literally just a friendly chat interview I was going to call it stable mate for that exact reason but yeah. then it just doesn't really make sense like, it either. doesn't make sense yeah, it's not and I'm not copying much. chicken shop day either because I don't have the same awkward no. like, yeah. concept it's just it's a laugh with the mate it's just a frequent bit of uh, content that I can push out because it's easy it's at home ones. it's at yeah. the stables it's so easy to set up um, and like you say like it's getting to know your favourite YouTuber or yeah. whoever really yeah. but then people are like oh my god he's allowed us to go on a date is mm. it I'm like babes he was literally in the living room. Bro, I was like, in the like, house. Like, like, he was I in the house that. whilst I was on a date with another man. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I was the... like, but if it's a woman, say if I get Talia or Freya yeah, or yeah. whatever, anyway, it's, absolutely fine. it's still going to be called Stable Date. Yeah. Now all the alpha men are going to be like, yeah, my missus wouldn't be dating someone in my house. Yeah. Never. Uh, it's if... a fucking piece of content, man. Yeah, you, funny... you've done enough dating videos. Yeah, exactly. Had enough scenarios come out on the internet, which were some <laughs> me. So. Yeah, I um, ain't spoken about that in a while, have I? <laughs> yeah, no, funny video. 
Good yeah. stuff. Thank you. Well done. But it's also funny Did to see like... Did you actually watch it? Yeah. He usually skips through my videos. He <laughs> Only just your thinkers. He's sent, sent Only to thinkers, like, I, I got chased by <laughs> a cow. What did she say on the internet this time? Listen, I just had to get out Two of the Two thinkers in a row you dropped and then you watched... That actually didn't do that bad in the oh, end. No. The cow. I think the um the clickbait saved me. Mm. Yeah. Other than, well, yeah, but I did fall off. I've fallen off. It's kind of picking back up. Yeah, well, uh, it's a good series. And it's funny to see, like, YouTubers around horses that... Would, would you like to come on a date with me? Sure. A stable date? Sure. Would you? Yeah, but I don't want anything to do with Dora. Oh, my God, Jan, I gave Cal Freezy out date Pepsi. That's mental. Know how funny that, that was? That is quite funny. That, that proper made me laugh. Oh, yeah, and people are like, oh, my God, she's got better chemistry with Freezy because she's laughing. I, bro, I gave him out a date Pepsi. Who wouldn't <laughs> laugh at that? I, I've literally, I know how long that's been sitting in the tack room as well mm. since our gender reveal. That's like yes, that's it. a year Over and a year. half ago. Yep. That's mental. <laughs> I funny. thought we had a longer shelf life than Me that. Me too. Being funny. I thought it would have. Yeah. But, um, no, exactly. It's funny. And the, people are going to laugh more when you're doing a fucking video that's meant to be funny. Yeah. And Lorenzo. What a boy. Yeah. Lorenzo, Lorenzo was so good. So there was all like studio lighting above, like harsh, strong lights, cameraman, camera mm. setups. He didn't bat an eyelid. Just walked straight in. Oh, he's a crackhead. Oh, he's great, Lorenzo. He's yeah, really no, funny. He's my, he's my favourite. I know how to uh, eat a horse pony nut. You and your friend, when you were younger, you said you used to eat pony nuts. Yeah, we did. Which is so weird. No, we used to try all the horse food. So you know how, like, horse feed, you have it in the uh, metal horse bins? Yeah, you used to just go around and try. Because obviously, different horses, you feed them different things. What, so you want to know? What do you mean? You want to know what the food is? Yeah, so we tried it. We had time on our hands. <laughs> It's so we wild. wasn't the generation chatting up people sleeping with them at 14. We was yeah. the ones in eating pony nuts. Eating pony nuts. <laughs> Listen, Walnut. I had a big gap between my two front teeth at this age. I went going nowhere. <laughs> but yeah, no. So, uh, Faith, you, you're allowed to continue dating people. In Thank the, in you the so much. I'm glad I've got your permission. Yeah, it's no. not very misogynistic at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, David Beckham Netflix documentary is out. Oh. Uh, I've not seen. I have not seen it either. No, uh, I did, however, linked topic just buy loads of Victoria Beckham's makeup. Did you? Because, yeah, because I you buy new makeup every week. No, you do. No, that, that that no is by the way is is I'm repelling denial. No, no, and you know why? It's because I'm a sucker for a fucking advert. That's why. So, but this one kept popping up, and I've not seen no beauty influencer. That's not me, by the way. Like I'm not trying to be that yeah. either. I've just not seen anyone review her stuff ever mm. so i'm like why does it keep popping up so i just it's really expensive as well like really I'm expensive not surprised, victoria beckham's rihanna's got a line out and it's not even as expensive Fenty. as that that's what i'm saying but it is is it's expensive so i'm excited to see a well, i think it might be dog shit uh in this documentary victoria speaks about david's alleged affair oh no uh, david talks about sir alex ferguson throwing a boot at his head that was that's what it's like hair dryer treatment um, but yeah didn't know that yeah well maybe we'll watch it I think tell we you should. what we started Listen, watching at your parents I, what? SAS oh. with Matt Hancock oh yeah and we need to actually him. start we need to watch it do you know what's funny because people send me they know that I hate Matt Hancock yeah, like, yeah. he's just such a fucking knobhead isn't he like yeah. then people send me clips off that they're like thought you'd enjoy, like, thought you'd enjoy this like yeah. kiss kiss no, <laughs> and so it's so just him getting episode. roasted Sunday evening at Faust Parents and then we left to take baby home but yeah we need to watch yeah. we need to finish that can I just say, shut up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's his face. It's his face. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, moving on. You've heard of girl math. You tried using it on me recently. I do use girl math. You tried a lot. using it on me recently yeah. for what was it? I do it for a lot. I it was the remember. it was the baby bag that you ended uh, up getting. Yes, Ethan bought me kindly in Dubai hmm. a nappy bag. Um, Not just any nappy bag. Fendi nappy bag. A Fendi nappy bag. Yeah. Right. So. We was trying to buy Olive like new shoes because she's walking now, whatever. Mm. Like, and there was a baby shoe shop, so obviously it's got other baby items in, but it's Dubai, so it's bougie, right? Mm. And there was a nappy bag, and I said, "Cool, you think you like that? That's nice." And then he was like, "Yeah, it's all right, like that." And I went, "No, it's nice, isn't it? That oh, it's great." I was like, "You fit two balls in that, brilliant." <laughs> either side, <laughs> big old panels. Yeah. Oh, let's have, give that a look. It's around. a really good nappy bag. It's really, and I said, "Oh yeah," and I said, "That's what I used, um, wasn't it?" Because we was carrying like a Nike pink light pink um backpack for all olive mm. stuff in but ethan has to carry it because i'm the woman 
<laughs> yeah, it looks bad. <laughs> so it, even carries nice all the bags, around. and he's and I said, "Babe, you look so much better carrying that than you will that." But I wasn't actually like false feeling you to buy it. When you actually said, "Listen, do you actually want it?" I said, "No, no, it's fine. No, I'm yeah. not actually trying to rob you. I just thought it was a funny situation." And then he's like, "Listen, I'd rather just buy you an actual bag because you didn't like the fact that you was buying a Fendi nappy Which was bag." Really stupid of me, by the way. Because then we went to Fendi because it's Dubai. Went to Fendi and it was like triple the price when it for a small bag. Yeah. And I said, don't that make the nappy, nappy bag look great now? But then it was in the shop and she was like, think about it. When it's not a nappy bag, it's a beach bag. When it's not this, it's this. And she was essentially dividing the cost down to that. So pretty much so it's free. <laughs> it is free because, right, so it's a, it's a big bag. It's bigger. We've got one baby. Yeah. I still need a nappy bag. Yep. This is it. I'm going to have another baby. I've got my other nappy bag. So that can fit two baby stuff in. Mm. When I have our third baby... That, Brilliant. I can fit everyone's stuff in it. So it's a big old bag, right? And then once all the kids are grown up, you're going to need a beach bag, going to need yeah. a picnic bag. It's got a cooling section in there. It's all going in. It is free. It's, it was actually really good. I would oppose the fact that it's free because I paid for it. So it was not free. Yeah, but your shoes were like... Anyway, moving on. Half uh, the so we've heard of girl math. You used it recently. Yeah. Have you seen boy math? Okay, so... Girl math went viral recently. This week, boy math has taken over on TikTok. Here are some of the best. Boy math is when five foot ten gets rounded up to six foot. Yeah, that love that. Often. That is that's. I probably use boy math. Do you? Yeah. You think you're six foot? No, I'm five foot eight. Ah, oh, but seven. I'm probably five foot seven and a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'd say I'm five foot eight. Uh, boy math is having a seventy-inch TV, but not owning a dining table. Absolutely. Yeah, true. 100%. Yeah. I've been that mm. before in my flats. Um, boy math is being afraid of gold diggers, but you only have three socks to your name. Yeah. So why would you be afraid of gold diggers when you've only got three pairs of socks? Oh, yeah. What are they digging for? Oh, yeah. Not Think your other sock. It. Think about it. I'm a little bit of a privileged male to have. No, I always say, don't I? I say you're the brokest rich man ever. Faith says I am the poorest rich man yeah, she knows. Yeah, so can you stop calling me a gold digger? I know he, we've just said that over here, he bought me a Fendi bag, but push that aside, right? Because... <laughs> <laughs> Bit out of touch. <laughs> <laughs> because he is the brokest rich man ever. Like I said, I'm not allowed an onion bargy. Why? Because it costs four quid and I'm only going to eat one. Right? Buy your own onion bargies? No. That's because more because it's a waste. already buying an Indian. But that's more because no. it's a waste. Eat it then. But anyway, <laughs> on top of that, he'll be like, oh, like, I need new pants. Like, his balls literally hang out of his fucking pants. If he, like, when he puts his pants on, sometimes balls come down. I'm like, oh, you're right, babe. Is it cold down there? That's <laughs> like, like they two just pairs. fall out. It's like two pairs. Yeah, but you only max. recycle through the two pairs. You wear them all the time. <laughs> anyway, babe, buy new pants. Oh, no. Oh, God, no, not yet. What, because the waistband is still up? Like, what? This is work. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. Like he just doesn't like the expensive stuff ever. Like, and when we like talk I, about I buying think... out for like lunches, it's like Nando's is all right. They would just go Nando's. I don't think I've worn a different pair of shorts in like yeah two weeks and probably. It, it's funny as well because you come off from saying on the pod, oh, be, like I just look like a really like like a dad now. Like by what you wear, and I'm like, babe, but you always wore that. I've stuff. always looked like this, haven't You've I? You've always yeah. looked like it. Yeah, maybe I'm just fulfilling that. Like dad look, like I got my I got my new balance on, I got my shorts on and my hoodie. Yeah. My shorts that I've worn for two weeks. And then like I've got multiple pairs of these shorts. So like once these are knackered from mm. wearing, I'll put another pair of shorts on. But he'll get the same pair of shorts. Yes. Because I like them. <laughs> but it's funny though, I rate it because you know, safety bread and all that. Yeah, exactly. He'll go sports direct, he's a humble king. Yeah. I I I not for his trainers though. No. <laughs> what no I, I like a good pair of shoes. Um same. Boy math is wanting zero kids, but having zero condoms to hand. Oh, right. Yep. Irresponsible. Boy math is thinking the answer to did you come is yes. <laughs> like if I was to say, did you come? Oh. Yeah, I'd assume, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd be wrong. Well, that was good. Uh, a new segment we've got. Da -da -da. Yeah. Things I believed as a kid. Ah. I used to believe some fucking nonsense as a child. Well, obviously, you're a child. Yeah, exactly. So let's have a look. When everyone was young... There were always things that their parents told them that they blindly believed, some of which people believed into adulthood. I done a question box on Insta for people to give their funniest ones. Mm -hmm. Are there any potential lies that you guys believed? Ooh. What, still now, to this day? What did I believe going into like adulthood? Ah, but uh, you know when you do this? 
They'll snow you, like it. Yeah, one will stick. One will get stuck, which but in my case pretty might much have, did, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I've got a dodgy one, so um, maybe it is true. <laughs> yeah. What else? You, you got any that you believed into adulthood? I just don't really think I was lied to, really. I reckon you're a little bit gullible, though. Yeah, of course. Oh, my God. Ah. You, you saw a face... Yeah, I know this wasn't their parents telling this. She saw a Facebook video that said you could put your phone in the microwave to charge it. Luckily, her fucking brother come downstairs and saw her putting her phone in the microwave. Was she was 18. going to blow the house up. Yeah, I was 18 as well. 18 <laughs> years old, putting a phone in a microwave because it goes to 100%. They shouldn't be allowed to put that stuff on Facebook. My phone was low. I come, I see a post on Facebook saying, oh, you put your phone in the microwave for 30 seconds. It will charge to 100% battery. Oh, great, my phone's low. It's so bad, you know, It's so bad. I could have killed a family of six. <laughs> it shouldn't be on the internet. Are you joking me? And then Connor come Connor, downstairs. No, he was already downstairs oh. and I opened it and I think he saw my phone. He was, what are you doing? I'm like, <laughs> charging my phone. He was like, are you, fuck, are you a fucking idiot? I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, blow the fucking house up. <laughs> oh, who was that? That's so funny. The top one's a really good one that I've got here. Really? Uh, it shouldn't be allowed. Here we go. Wrong end of the stick. Driving with the inside car light was illegal. Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah. used to... Yeah. Always believe this. Yeah, true. Even and when we did it on the way on the way home yes. from the airport, I thought, oh, Phil, I'm being naughty. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and even last Sunday when Olive wanted the light on in the back, and I was like, as oh, you turn it off now. Yeah, I feel like everyone's got paranoia about the back. back yeah, maybe. Like, I don't know why we thought that was illegal. I think it's just distracting from yeah. drivers. Uh, when the ice cream van played music, it meant they were out of ice cream. No. Oh, I didn't I'm, get tired. That's a sad I one. Just, that's really quite that's sad. sad. I just knew that it was time for ice cream. Yeah. When the, when the song came. Yeah. But that's quite, that's, 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 that's sad. sad to make your child believe that. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, Jamie. That means there's none coming. I'd like to think we'll be quite truthful to Olive. Yeah. Other than the two fairy, the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. Yeah. No, you got to let them have those. Yeah, of course. Got to let them have those. Put in a face and the wind changed direction, my face would be stuck. I've never had that one. Mine was the eyes, that one. Mm. Uh, if you swallowed chewing gum, you'd die. Yeah, I, I was. I used to always never. I people at school. I'd would be have fucking one. terrified if I swallowed one by accident. I'd be like, oh, yeah, but gonna die. people at school in my class, you you weren't allowed chewing gum at my school. Yeah. Um. So you'd have it, and some people would get caught with it, and they'd just swallow it, and I'd be like, <laughs> bro, are you sure you're right doing that? <laughs> like that's a serious hazard. Yeah, I know it can be in your stomach for like seven years, but I'm pretty sure that's true, right? I don't know. I think it's all. I think your body's going to digest it still. It's not like this immovable. Digest it still. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's man going to done? Yeah. Uh, bin shoots on construction sites. <laughs> <laughs> bin shoots on construction sites. <laughs> bin shoots on construction sites. <laughs> He's fun slides for now. builders. Yes, I've I've thought about this before. Not necessarily that I believe that they was actually fun slides. I've looked at them and thought. That would be cool to go down. Yeah. No. No. No, I didn't believe it either. But, no. Uh, sharks in any swimming pool? No. No. Ne never, never had that one. Carrots helped you see in the dark? Yes. But there is truth behind that one because they have vitamin C and vitamin C helps your eyes. But because it's called vitamin C, so what, it's a, vitamin on, C. On a technicality. Yeah. So that one's actually true. You didn't get lied to. No. Congrats. I actually, uh, I, I like a carrot, but yeah. only a cooked one. I like a black carrot. Tell you what I like. I like a heritage carrot when they do them like that. Oh, with like a glaze on it. <laughs> Lovely heritage carrots. Um, capital cities were in the middle of the country. Yes. Until I was probably about like, but it, I'm saying from like, I think max 11, I probably stopped believing that. Do you know what's funny? The way my brain works, if you tell me something, right, I just don't second guess you anything. You just take it for gospel. Yeah, like genuinely, that like I know I'm going to get a stick for this because it actually really winds me up when people call me dumb as well because I don't think I'm dumb. Well, but you hate people what I do, comment that like there's nothing going on out there and it really winds me up. Nothing in between However, those eyes. Yeah. However, there's some truth to it because if you do just tell me something, I'm like, all right, and then nothing will happen in my head. 
I won't think anything of it. I won't think anything about it. And I, I won't a, think why that's wrong. A, I'll a just take noise it. Of faith. Well, what was it you done the other day? You say doi, 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 doi. And it you fucked did, me you up. You did a doi, so doi, doi bad. moment. And you looked me in the face oh, and knew it was a doi, doi, no, doi no, moment. No, no, no. You did one. We went, um, you, I lost I my phone in the yeah. house. Oh, there's been a few. But yeah. this one, I lost my phone inside the house. And Ethan rang me about six times. Couldn't find it. Phone's always on silent. It fucks me off and I can hear my phone. However, I always lose it. So he called me. However, but then I went to Brentwood High Street, didn't I? Um, didn't have my phone really in the car. It was just in my bag. I got to Brentwood High Street. Oh my God, I've got six minutes calls from Ethan. <laughs> He's at home with Olive. What's happened? Ringing him, ringing him. Why are you ringing me? No, I've got six missed calls. What do you mean? He was like, yeah, because you're your fine. I was like, oh my God. <sighs> so I, I looked thought something bad was, happened. Uh, it, it, this is a toy And toy. you went, not going to say it, but just know. Just know this is a toy toy <laughs> moment. Big toy toy moment. It just fucks me off though. Uh, those toys, aliens. Uh, why am I talking about Oh, they are they babies. They, he put them back to back and put them in the fridge. I tried baby. that. Me too. I've probably tried, tried it. Tried to be a mother. In my life, I think I've tried it like six times. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was and it convinced. Never worked. Yeah, yeah, put them in the freezer they, and everything. Whoever manufactured those, right? Must well done, so much you. Money, yeah, well done, you. Jelly little alien. Yeah, and they was probably sold worldwide. Oh my god! And shag bands. Did you shag used bands, to call yeah. them that? Yeah, yeah. I was. I used to love shag bands until Whoa, another <laughs> mum told my mum what they were called. Oh, they were loom bands. Yeah, loom bands. Yeah. No, someone know. told my mum that, that they, they were shag band. bands, oh. and they meant diff different colours meant different things. Now I couldn't wear them after that. Yeah. Well, fair. Uh, your tongue changes colour if you lie. I feel like I had a lying one, but I don't think it was my tongue changes colour. Maybe I was just a good child. Yeah, maybe you was. Uh, cheese before bed gives you nightmares. Yeah, that's a classic. Oh, I still believe that. Do you? Yeah, I well, still won't it, eat cheese before it, bed. It doesn't, but yeah. And chocolate. Mm. I, however, I feel that one is a little bit of a lie because now I'm a parent. Chocolate's nice. More and more bed. chocolate for me yeah, chocolate. if the kid's not eating it. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah, that was it for the uh, things you believe. I don't think I've had Let us know in the comments or Instagram DMs, whatever, if you've got any more that are sort of rogue. Uh, and that could be quite funny. But yeah. No, I've just got, if you lie, your nose gets longer. Yeah. Maybe that is that. Mine went up. <laughs> <laughs> the more you lie, it gets <laughs> um, We've got baby pros and cons of the week, but I feel like we spoke about a trip away. Yeah, she yeah, threw yeah. up everywhere. Yeah, she's that is the she's con. She's a really she's, advanced baby. She's great. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, she's just out here. Yeah. So next up, relationship dilemmas. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's talk about Al's. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I'm a 19 year old male. He was, here's my dilemma. I've been going out with this girl on dates, and she has finally invited me for Netflix and chill. Jeez. The problem is, Palea. I don't know where to even start, as I don't even know how to go from watching a show to undressing her. Please advise me on what I should do. I, my friend. Cannot help <laughs> because the I, first time story is pending. No, because I am also Ethan is that you, Ethan virgin. is him. Yeah, I'm. I am. I'm not him, but I'm him. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ethan's um, a big fat virgin. I, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not fat, the best sorry. at like uh, kissing. Uh, well, I've, I'm a good kisser. Yeah, a good kisser. But to kiss, I'm quite virgin. He's not good at making the moves to kiss. No. No. I have to be so dead certain that this is the time to kiss to want to do it. Right, it's just crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. Yeah. I just love our first time story. Well, so even much. like on our first date when like I... Uh... Oh, you fumbled. We can tell that one. I even fumbled it. So I did... Like you say, um, oh, like, I just have to know. Bro, I set up a whole proposal in that stable for you. Yeah. And then and Ethan nervous again kissed me. He did this. Look, can I show you what you did? Stand up. Just don't talk. <laughs> Wait, yeah. not the camera. Oh, okay. He did this and that. And then he went in for another one and went like that. Like that. And then and then and then we left. Yeah. And then I was like, what just happened? No, it was a little bit a little bit weird for but me. But you like held my shoulders. I just it, again, it was COVID, nervous no, times, man. COVID. Like, nervous I'm game. not gonna get the lurgy. Yeah. <laughs> nervous game, not meant to be doing this, feeling a bit naughty. Yeah. Um, yeah, sat in a hay barn. And I, I know you did set up like this extravagant thing, but then you set it up. Wow, amazing. Then we walked around the field. And in the walk around the field, you could have decided Corey's a prick. No, um, I did that first because I set up a proposal. Oh, right. Okay. I yeah. realised once I got down there, oh, this is a lot. I've yeah. done a lot. I'm extra. Yeah. Um, so we walked but, around the field and I thought, oh, she could think I'm a wanker here. Does she? And then we sat in a stable for a bit and then had a kissy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, how to go from watching a show to kissing. Bro, if you're already around the house, she wants it. Yeah. And if you... You're... Like, the thing is with girls, if they've invited you, if they're sitting with you, 
chances are they want to be with you. They're like, clean, yeah. Because girls, you're getting dropped. Like, if a girl's not interested in you, she's on the other side of the room. Yeah. Like, if, she, if she's not texting you, she's not doing that, you're not around her house. Like, yeah. if this girl is not interested or doesn't want to do bits, yeah. you're not around. No. End of story. Yeah. So she's already keen. So just take that if in. If you're anyway. cuddling and stuff, it's a lot easier because you could have like a little wondery hand, a little stroke. Well, but let's keep it a little bit. Let's not tell him to finger her straight away. No, not finger her. I'm not telling him to finger her. I don't, I don't want him to get stinky fingers. I'm saying like nice rub, whatever, like a head rub, neck ah, rub, something like that. And then, fine head. And then give her a, uh, give her maybe a little cheek kissy, forehead kissy. No, you'll give her the ick. Please don't take Ethan's advice. Oh my God. <laughs> She's invited you round for a Netflix and chilling. You just kissed her on the cheek. Yeah, man. Respectful game is in for the long run. That's a killer. Uh, right. I just like. don't think like you've helped him there. Yeah. I'd, listen, right, just, okay. go, just go with the flow. Um, I say give it a move. Play fire truck. <laughs> fire truck. Even that's bad. That's bad. Fire trucks don't stop the red light. Yeah. I'd, you I'd, are I'd, telling him to get stinky fingers. <laughs> 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 don't do that. You could get yourself in trouble. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I think just... Just play by right now. You're already gonna there. Go, so just the have the riz. Go, just yeah. have the riz. But that's like, it. yeah, it worked. You're all good, bro. Don't worry about it. All right, next one. Girlfriend and I just got into the swinging scene. I didn't think it would be this hard to find people that were up for it. Yes, I know we can join a club, but that's not how we want to go about it just yet. I mean, women slash men always hit on my girl and women always hit on me. But once we reach a stage where it gets frisky, I guess they think it's a game that they don't think we are serious and communication ends. Uh, us failing. Follow up about swinging cruises. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't know how to go about a uh, it's quite I've, a dilemma this I've heard from my mother you put something in the windows in that yes huh? so because we had a pampas grass in our window of our we house did, yeah. and my mum said Faith I found out yesterday if you have pampas grass in the window of your house you're a swinger yes I said oh great well we've got to move that yeah so there's like some pa- small your pampas things. grass in the window yeah. there's some small things in, in neighbourhoods I think there's other ones as well that are but like then everyone here. knows you're a swinger so well no only swingers would know you're swinging because like to me but I'm not, have, we're like, not swingers no but I wouldn't have a clue like but you know what pampas people... grass is yeah but, well then you'd know no but I don't know that that is the sign for swinging but you do now yeah I do now so but, if you saw but it but what I'm saying is what's going on here bruv <laughs> what's going on here <laughs> what I'm saying is to the untrained eye there is other signals that I would just obliviously walk past yeah but swingers walking past it would go uh, Jennifer, number 31 is up for it. Yeah. Let's go knock And there. it's just where you swap couples. Yeah, it's just where you fuck each swap other's partners. partners. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. So, yeah, a bit, a bit odd. I don't know about the dilemma. Just uh, throw dog in. Maybe just tell them, hey, we actually want to shag. Set Will up you a shag double me? Date. Set up yeah. a double My date. My partner's okay drunk. with you shagging me. Shag me. I just feel like, listen, if anything's going to happen, you all need to be drunk. Yeah. It's just the way a little bit things one. go. I found it. I remember it now, thanks to the next slide. Swinging cruises. On a cruise, and sometimes also on land, pineapple is code for swinging, for wife swapping. If you see a pineapple on a cruise ship door, it means the people are up for meeting other couples for adult fun. Uh, that's the one, apple on the door. Thing is, uh, yeah, this, the, 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 the situation I've got, what if the girl's really pretty, you get to fuck her, but I'm just left with an old haggard man. Doggy fat man. Yeah, that's not fair. I suppose you could just say... Oh, I'm getting involved with that. You sit Can't there. Can't like I a just go cut. with the woman and then yeah. you have the man? It depends. Well, he's the I big fat like man to, and I'll go to, with the nice woman. I don't need woman. like to take a lovely looking man. No, I know that. Yeah. But so. would you not take one for the team in that situation? When you knock on the, the door. Fat man grenade? No. Well, I don't want to take it. I am the fat man grenade. So not maybe anymore. He, maybe he thinks that too. Maybe he thinks. You almost fall over with the back shots. <laughs> <laughs> not very nice. <laughs> right. Uh, pineapples are used as a secret way for swingers to identify each other. If you see someone wearing an upside down pineapple badge or pin, it means they're actively looking for a partner swap. An upside down pineapple on someone's front porch could be seen as an invitation to join a swinger party. Ethan has said his woman is his woman, but would you swing later on in life? No. I was just about to say, would you ever no. branch down I when would, I am I having not, use? I would not swing. Do you know what I do when you go to a sex party? Really? I've said this to you before though, haven't I? Yeah. And then I said, would you have sex with me at a so sex party? Awkward. And he was like, no. I'm just so awkward, man. I but bro, like if one's having sex. I feel like some weird little cuck man. That's but just why like, would you not just want to go to one? It's like some weird cuck in the corner. Like. But does it not just, <laughs> you just wouldn't want to go? I'd go for the spectacle. But you keep your willy family in. You said you said you, you said you would you probably wouldn't I'd have come to be, out. I'd have to be battered, yeah. You'd have to get me, I'd have to be like horned up. 
on something, maybe. I don't know. Just on something. something. Yeah, just something. Make me feel a little bit naughty. Yeah. If you catch me on a naughty night, maybe. But like me now, if you was to say, all right, 7 p.m., we're going sex party. No. Really? Absolutely not. I want to watch Champions League, please. <laughs> it's so boring, isn't it? Absolutely not. I'm not going sex party today. Um, but yeah. And I don't mean to swap, by the way. I mean purely us. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know, I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, all right, next one. I've been with my girlfriend for four years. We've been trying for a baby the last few months. Sadly, we've had no luck yet. On the weekend, she was take, talking about wanting to get engaged. Sunday evening, she went away for work training, got home Wednesday evening. She told me she slept with a guy from training who's married with two kids. The day she was away, I was looking for engagement rings. I nearly bought one. I think it's going to be nearly impossible to forget. That being said, I don't envision life without her after the last four years have been so great. She insisted it won't happen again. She fucked up and has learned from her transgressions. What do I do now? I've not got many close mates anymore as we've drifted apart over the last few years. I'm really close with my family, but I don't want to tell them as they all absolutely love her and think we are bound to get married anytime soon. Oh, what a sad situation. This is a honker. Yeah, that's sad. Oh, leave her, bro. She's it got a really street. It is really sad, but... <laughs> That is pathetic from her. Yeah. I mean, try, trying trying for a baby is. as well. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot of an emotional... You're with um, someone for four years. You're trying yeah. to... You, you want to get married and you're also trying to create life together. And what? You go on one work trip and shag a geezer. Pathetic. And just saying she's back at work with him. Yeah, exactly. Soon as it's a work check and you think gonna it's not going to happen again. again. Oh, 100%. Any yeah. work party, any function, like, leave her. As yeah. hard as it is no, and you feel them. like you're going to be on your own, I feel like the only reason you're keeping her is because you said you're not going to Things happen for a reason, yeah. my young Padawan. Yeah, I feel like your only life reason is, you're keeping her is because you've got someone. Life has thrown this at you to make you a better person. Yeah, so. and I'd tell your family because they'll just help you hate her as well. Yeah, uh, it's really bad, that though. Really, yeah, that's really sad. Bad. That's not a nice one. Um, yeah, she's she's a um, dog. Yeah. She's barking somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, on them little yappy yeah well. horrible, horrible things mm. ones that I like to kick mm. I don't kick dogs by the way no. but in 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 like a you know like it's like a it's a very male conversation like how far do you think you could kick that dog yeah considering they're like the size of a football maybe weigh a bit more but mm. Mm. yeah never had that convo with a woman I feel like pub chat isn't it <laughs> how far do you think you could kick a chihuahua yeah 10 yards maybe if I really if I got under it like t-boned it like battle wallop see you later that's what you should do to her anyway. Yeah. Kick her. Kick, kick her to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> Fuel in the fire here. Kick her to the um, curb, yeah. No, let's yeah. Peak. Start, uh, go and meet someone else, bro. She's not worth it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Growing Pains podcast. Jeez. It's been a pleasure. We are out here every Thursday. Remember, subscribe. Cancelled or not. Come on. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Like the video if you enjoyed this one. Uh, on audio platforms, rate it five stars. Follow it. One, two, three, four, five. Jeez, five stars. And also, woo, woo, this is a call to action for all of you listeners, viewers, all of that that have an Instagram account. Join the Doghouse on Instagram channels. Yes. We've got one of them channels we do. that we are now a moderator of. I know. I don't understand it. I was going to so, write hello in there the other day, but I don't know how it works. Yeah, you can. But basically what it is, it's like a pin board that people can react to or... They can't talk back? No. Okay. But they can send in a DM about something that's there. So like it says here, if we're having a debate in the house about something, put it in there and then people can reply to the, it in the DMs and have their say on it. Okay. Cool. So say like tonight, the, the onion bargy one would have been perfect. Imagine I say no and then you go, all right, everyone, he's not getting me the fucking onion bargy because it's four pounds but I only want one of them. Yeah. And then pe people could have had their uh, thoughts on it there. I'm real. All right. So join the dog house and also you could put in there and if, if I've not done something. Like, oh yeah, great. This is just another platform like, for me to sound like a moany bitch on like then, isn't it? put in there, Ethan hasn't put his suitcase away. Oh my God, <laughs> do it. All right. Do anyway, it. thanks for watching guys. Join the dog house. Uh, can't wait to see you in there. And yes, see you later. Bye. Bye.